Hello, I'm James Kumar. I'm Senior VP for Products at DDN Storage. Um, and I'd like to take you around our booth today at SC18 and tell you what we've got to show. So DDN Storage is a company that's been focusing entirely uh, for the past 20 years on data at scale challenges. For our customers, that means multiple things. It might mean IOPS and throughput, it might mean capacity, it might be geo distribution of their storage. Um, but the one thing that's main, been maintained uh, at DDN for that 20 years is complete focus on just those issues. So when you call DDN, we know exactly what you're talking about because you're using DDN storage for those data at scale issues. So the customers are anything from uh, um, customers that are doing autonomous driving at very large scale uh, to customers like uh, UCL or the CRIC, uh, so life sciences institutes, uh, Sanger Center, people who are doing really tough life sciences challenges or even F1 racing, so we have a very uh, high um, take up of our storage systems for those challenging problems in F1 racing. But really it's right across the spectrum, so wherever a customer has a really tough data problem, then we build storage solutions uh, just for that upper echelon of serious challenges. So the one common theme is data at scale. So let's take a look at the Flash products. Uh, they're really trying to serve the toughest IOPS problems, latency problems that are on the market. And those are common in AI and analytics, but also they appear elsewhere outside of, outside of that domain. Then we have the mid-range system, the 7990. We'll typically see this going into all kinds of academic research centers. Anybody who needs a decent scale HPC storage system or an AI storage system, which is hybridized. So that means mixing flash and drives. And then for the 18K, typically that goes for the, for the high-end customers, the ones who really want to make massive scale, super simple, they use the 18K with the embedded file systems. So that's just the storage products. Um, the other problems we're trying to solve is what happens about managing the whole data lifecycle. So we've got a cool, fast storage system from DDN. How do we then protect that data? How do we back it up? How do we share it? How do we make disaster recovery of it? And that's where Dataflow comes in to solve that challenge. And then, if you want to make your life simple and you're trying to move into AI, then we've specifically done all the optimization and tuning to make your life simple and make sure we're saturating all those um, high value resources in the GPUs and the data scientists that you've, uh, you've acquired. Um, so across the board, storage systems uh, for, with flash and hybrid, uh, data flow for data management and A3I for supporting AI workflows. So the final thing, there was a big acquisition this year from DDN and we acquired a company called Tintree. Now Tintree isn't an HPC system, but it's got a lot of interesting technology which might be applied to HPC in the future. So Tintree really is, they are the experts in providing storage for enterprise virtualization. And they've invested a lot in a really superb analytics environment. So firstly, when you think about DDN now, you can also think a little bit about Tintree and about your enterprise workloads and what, they can, what, t what DDN and Tintree can do for you there. But also watch this space in the future because we'll take that cool technology and we're going to apply it to these HPC and AI workflows. So one of the great consequences of being in data at scale for so long, so deeply involved with our customers, is it's kind of in our genes now, so it's in our engineering genes to build products that solve those issues. And those issues could be managing lots of drives, as simple as that. But it could be how we get the potential of the storage into the applications. And that's really what DDN's about. It's not about building fast storage systems, it's about delivering that speed, that performance, that robustness, that flexibility into your application workflows to make a real difference for customers, uh, the customer environment. Thanks very much for stopping by. Uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you again next year at SC19.